on Panthers TV in association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems. Joined by Matthew Myers, interim head coach for a few days, taking training till Corey arrives to take practice on Friday. Joking aside, how have you found it? In interim practice coach, I'll call it, not okay, head coach. Yeah, there you go, that's a good practice name. Coach. Uh, no, it's been good. Obviously, Corey and I have been speaking in the evenings. He's been putting his practice plans together. Um, I'm just sort of following him and, you know, just guiding the guys through the drills. There's some new drills for most of the guys I've done. Uh, some of these drills before with Corey, uh, but it's been it's been fun. It's hard trying to play and sort of instruct at the same time. So I have a newfound respect for all those coaches who, you know, did play a coach as a full-time job. It's difficult. What do you think Corey will? Be? I mean, you know all about him. You've known him for years. But what would he bring to this team? Well, he's going to bring um, a fresh start. Is what we need. A new voice. Lots of the guys know Corey from before. Hammy Feds, uh, Jordan probably. Um, and then obviously the new guys will be looking forward to getting to meet him Friday and sort of moving forward with him. And what about the first game? It was kind of inevitable, wasn't it, that, that it would be Sheffield away? Does that kind of give it a bit of extra spice, do you think? I mean, Corey said it's Sod's Law that uh, the first game is against Sheffield, but he comes in Friday, so whoever we played is going to be difficult. At the moment, there's lots of good teams who were not beaten, so every game we go into you know is going to be a battle so regardless of Sheffield if it's Coventry, Dundee, Fife, whoever it's going to be is going to be a difficult night for Corey and, and the team but he'll be fine he's a professional he's done it many times before he's going to know exactly what to do and like I say he's he's preparing a team from distance right now with the uh, mini video sessions and um, the practice plans and stuff so I think he'll be just fine obviously it's a big weekend because we just need to start winning games. Yeah and you say about a big weekend Saturday's big but the cliche as well you may not be looking at Sunday, but, but that's big too, because you, if you can suddenly get a, a four-point weekend out of here, you'll feel very much back on the track, I guess. Well, one win, we have to start with one win. I know, I know it is a cliche. We have to just start with Saturday night and get one win. I think we've lost our last three, and we've been playing absolute rubbish hockey. So we need to, first of all, start playing better and feeling good about going on the ice and facing every team. Uh, hopefully that can translate into a win against Sheffield Saturday night. And then we'll turn our attention to, I think it's Manchester at home on Sunday. Um, and again, you know, they're a good team. We've had difficult games with them before. We've lost to them. We've beaten them narrowly um, in this building. So we're going to need to be switched on again. But really, it starts with, um, it starts with Saturday night. Thank you, Matthew. No worries, Chris.